Thank you for tuning in to Faith in Jesus Ministries. My name is Mike Barclay, the Preacher Man. Well, I got a good message for you today. It's going to freak you out. It's about CERN and the Collider and the Mandela Effect. If you're not familiar with the Mandela Effect, are you watching me on YouTube and Facebook and the Internet? Because you've experienced the Mandela Effect. You know what the Mandela Effect is, is people remember different things in history, like Mandela died in prison, and he didn't die in prison, and that's a different alternate timeline that we're on right now, because when they uh, started up the collider, they destroyed the earth. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to get in detail and explain how this happened and how we jumped to the nearest alternate uh, universe. That's why things are just not exactly right. Like, uh, like in Star Wars, they say Luke. I'm your father. That's what people remember. But it's actually not. It's stop, Luke. I am your father. And that is a conundrum. It's something that should not have happened, but it did. I'm going to get into quantum physics and stuff like that that's going to blow your mind how smart I am. And I'm going to teach you how to get saved, too. Since I'm blocked from the Internet for three days, for I don't know why, because I'm a Christian and I just put my word out there and they don't like what I say because I tell the truth and the truth will set you free every time. First, the funny. I was staying this week at the Hotel 1000. I'd like to talk to you just a second about their toilet. You got the best toilets ever, man. You wouldn't believe this if you didn't see one of these things. Number one, the seat is heated. That don't sound like a whole lot, but if you're used to a cold toilet seat, you're used to a cold toilet seat and you sit on a warm toilet seat, it's nice. Kind of relaxes your bowel muscles and kind of helps you crap. On the wall, there's some buttons. One of them says rear cleansing and one of them says front cleansing. The diagram of a man sitting on the toilet with the stream of water shooting up his ass. I push the button. All of a sudden, I'm that guy sitting on the toilet with a stream of water shooting up my ass. It's amazing how accurate this thing is. I don't know if everybody's butthole's in the exact same place. This thing got me dead center. Another button below that one, it said oscillate. And I said, why not? I have a rotating stream of water shooting up my ass. It was at that time I realized that 50 million gay men can't be wrong. Singing songs to this toilet, I'm in love. I have an English bulldog named Sluggo. I do tell him when he's asleep, I lift up those big old huge bulldog jowls and I stick M&M's and peanuts in there. He wakes up in the morning like, it's gonna be a good day, Tater. He calls me Tater. I'm sick right now and it's a bitch when you get sick because you can't feed him medicine. You gotta stick it in a hot dog or a piece of cheese. I him out last year for picking the litter. I'm with a female dog for a couple of weeks and to make sure I took him to the vet and had her inseminated two times. In case you don't know what that is, in vitro fertilization is when they take the sperm from the dog and they put it in the other dog. Now it don't take shit to get Sluggo to go to the vet. He loves the play. He said, Brother Mike, if you come on back here, we'll show you how to do this. And you don't have to bring the dog next time. Just bring the semen. Like, that's okay. Go ahead and jack off the dog. He follows me around too much as it is. I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this bulldog. Jack me off. Get out of here. We got company. You did it yesterday with yourself. I don't have any thumbs. I don't have any thumbs. Now jack me off, you piece of shit. Did we talk to daddy that way? Please? An instant a universe is created. There's a different time and reality that's created. Technically, there's a universe in what gods can exist. It is everything because he, he equals mc squared. God is within and can be everything. The infinite number of parallel universes, there's an infinite possibility which God does not exist or exist in a different form. It is more powerful. In other words, can God create an unliftable stone or object? So, God should not be able to lift it. But if he's truly powerful, he should be able to lift it. Or he can create an unliftable stone. That's a paradox right there. And that there's an infinite number of realities in our dimensional space. Or dimensional space consider the same confined space. An infinite number of parallel realities with the infinite number of parallel dimensions. The Mandela effect is some people thought the, uh, Nelson Mandela died. Some people remember it at different times. It goes for a lot of other things. You know, Star Wars. Like videos, mirror, mirror on the wall. If you look back to the original film, it's magic mirror on the wall. The reality I'm in, it's mirror, mirror on the wall. People didn't make it from the last reality, I'm thinking. Still trying to figure out why they don't remember. Some people do. The effect is we're living in an alternate extension of our universe. How did Mirror Mirror on the Wall change? 
it actually never changed. We changed. We're moving relative towards our universe. Our multi-universe, parallel universe started moving closer to us. We're out of alignment. Destroyed everything. The universe didn't change. We did. Two studios, Studio A and Studio B in Disney. We create a film that says Magic Mirror on the Wall. Another studio says Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Two separate studios or what happened? No, it's the same studio, different timeline. It's all happened when they fired up the CERN Collider and it destroyed the Earth as we know it, the dimension of the Earth we know. It said mirror, mirror, magic mirror on the wall. There's scary tales that happen at CERN. Dimensional beings, satanic portals. That's what Brother Mike thinks CERN is, a satanic portal. A bunch of other crazy stuff. People think they need to bridge two universes together. And again, they're fairy tales. It's when are fairy tales real, but then again, all fairy tales are based on something. Our universe was destroyed the progression of infinite expansion. This one just destroyed itself as the collider started up. There's an infinite number of parallel universes. That means there's an infinite number of parallel ranges. Possibly there's a reality that maybe this world didn't even occur. Maybe there's a reality where this universe destroyed itself. There's an infinite number of possibilities. It's such an incredible thing to try to wrap your head around. The word infinity is almost possible to understand. It's hard to wrap your mind around that there's something larger than everything. Even a paradox itself, it's an oxymoron. It's a mormonic phrase. That's why God is an incredible seer over the universe. Other than me and a few other people, you're not going to figure this out, are you? I think I have this figured out. Again, this is all just theory. You can form an opinion about alternate universes and infinity and reality, alternate reality. I think I know it. I have some very basic ideas how it works. Again, there's just theoretical physics, and that's what I am, a theater theoretical physics scientist. I don't actually know everything that's happening. It's just how much do I think I can explain the unexplainable. Maybe I'm not even explaining it at all. It's an infinite chance this is our universe. 